What is going on everybody and welcome to part 31 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we're going to be making it so our barricade entity not only can be damaged, but when it does get damaged to the point where it gets down to zero health, it'll be able to be destroyed just like the ammo dispenser. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We are again going to be working in our init.lua file today. And first thing we want to do here is in our initialize function, we need to go ahead and initialize the barricade's health. So we do this by doing self colon set health. And within the set health, we want to go ahead and set this health equal to self dot base health. And that is just the variable that is stored within our shared dot Lua file for this barricade entity. After that, we want to go ahead and create a couple functions here. First function, just in case we ever need it, we may never use it, but again, just in case we want the function, ent colon think. And this takes in zero arguments and then end. And again, all this function does is it's going to be called every single tick. So if we want something to happen every single tick, then we'll go ahead and throw it in here. Since that's not the case right now, we're just going to leave it empty, but we're just going to keep it there and we're just going to put it there just in case we ever do come across a use for it. The second function we need here is function ent colon on take damage. And this will take in one argument, which is just the amount of damage. And then end this off. And the first thing we want to do in this function is set the new health for the entity. So every time an entity takes damage, we want to go ahead and subtract whatever the damage is from the entity's current health. So we do this by doing oops, self colon set health. And we want to go ahead and get the entity's current health. So we do self colon health. Then we want to subtract damage colon get damage. And then after that, we want to go ahead and do a quick check here. And this check is just going to see if self colon health is less than or equal to zero. And then if it is equal to zero, then we would just want to simply do self colon remove. We want to get rid of that entity completely. Maybe down the line we'll do something fancy like create an explosion, but for now this will work perfectly fine. Then after that, just save it. Then we can go ahead and head into game now. And just in case, I'm going to reload. And now if we go ahead and spawn in this barricade entity, and we shoot a couple times, you can see that it gets destroyed after a certain number of or after a certain amount of damage is taken by it. And one more thing before we end off this episode, I want to go ahead and show one thing here. And we want to go into our share.lua file for this. And what I want to show is this line right here. As you can tell, from within this Q menu here, we can go ahead and spawn in these entities. If we do not want that, and in a couple of parts here, this will be the case where we don't want them to be here. But in order to get rid of that, we just want to set ent.spawnable equal to false. And now if we go in here and just reload, what will happen now is that barricade will not display within the entities tab of the Q menu. So entities, no longer there, just the ammo dispenser. And currently, since I do want to be able to spawn it from within there because I do not have it set up in the shop yet, I want to set that to true. So I can go ahead, spawn it in, and test whatever I need to test. But anyways, that right there will conclude part 31 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.